Welcome back to class. My name is Naya Abernathy and I am your professor here at the Dignity Ambassador Academy and I am so glad that you are here. Uh, before we dive into our class today, we are going to do what we always do. We're going to lay our foundation of dignity and dignity, the definition we use here is the intrinsic worth and value each being carries that cannot be taken away. You've got it, I've got it. Those who are in your circle have it. Uh, the more than human world has it. Plants, trees, animals, water. And we are practicing connection uh, around this idea of dignity uh, so that we can uh, really lean into living more whole. And that's why you're here. And I'm, gl and I'm glad that you are. So today we are going to be pr uh, practicing a practice <laughs> Uh, to support what we've been talking about, which is dignity and emotions. That's what this learning lab too is about. And so, um, and this practice is something that I offer you from my heart and my brain. And it's an acronym, because uh, I'm that person who loves stuff like acronyms as teaching tools. And it is the snail practice. And there are lots of beautiful things about snails, like their patience and their um, steadiness. Uh, but specifically, um, I like their representation of home. They are a creature that walks around with their home as a part and integrated into their body. And you are your emotional home. Your body um, is your emotional home. And you deserve to feel safe in your home. And yes, uh, you can dwell with your emotions, even the difficult ones. And feel a sense of safety and support and groundedness. And so my hope is that this is a practice that you will engage to continue to encourage that support and groundedness. So what does SNAIL the acronym stand for? So first the S is for slow. Uh, it's about slowing your awareness down, slowing your body down, slowing your breathing down is a good place to start. But we want to get a little slow. Uh, and especially if you've been rushing maybe through the day. It's a good practice to help you slow. The N is for notice. So notice what's going on. What feelings do you have physically, sensations? Notice what emotions might be present. You can do a body scan if you want to really just be focused on the various parts of your body. And this happens without judgment. You're just paying attention to what's going on. The A is for affirm. So what you notice, affirm it, it's there. You don't have to deny it or push it away or make a story about it. There's no judging it. And you're just affirming that it is present. Yes, my neck feels tight. Yeah, my, my breath uh, is kind of stuck in a certain part of my body or feels really shallow. Uh, whatever you are noticing or affirming that it's there. And then identify the eye, what you need. Do you need to roll your shoulders back? Do you need to take a deep breath? Do you need to go for a walk outside? Do you need to call a friend? Uh, do you need to have a big drink of water and make yourself a cup of tea? Do you need to stop looking at your screen? <laughs> uh, what is it that you need? Identify that need. And then the L is for love. Do something loving. Say something loving to yourself, right? So probably the simplest thing to do that is loving for you is to respond to what you identified as a need and go ahead and fill that. If for some reason you can't in the moment, you can speak something loving to yourself. You can say thank you to those parts of your body that maybe need some love and attention. You can tell um, areas of pain, especially recurring pain or aches that you love them uh, and care for them in that way. Again, you can call a friend and exchange words of love, laughter, uh, those kinds of things, but do something that affirms and encourages and supports love for you. So I hope that you will practice the snail practice um, as a part of you continuing to uh, receive, accept, and just be grounded in your dignity as well as your full experience of emotions. And I will see you in the next class.